We have a new crock pot recipe for you and you are going to love it. Today we are making pork ribs in the crock pot. This is my favorite way to make ribs and you're going to love how easy it is. Hi, I'm Christina with eatingonadime.com and let's get cooking. Today we are starting with about three pounds of country style pork ribs and you are just going to place them directly into the crock pot. It is completely okay for them to sit on top of each other and fill up the slow cooker. I highly recommend you use a six quart crock pot or larger. I have it linked in the description below with some of my favorite crock pots. In a small bowl we're going to mix together brown sugar, chili powder, salt, a teaspoon of pepper, two cups of ketchup. I'm just using a regular ketchup here. We do have a recipe for homemade ketchup on our site eatingonadime.com. And then finally we're going to add a half a cup of apple cider vinegar and Worcestershire sauce. And we're gonna combine this in a medium sized bowl and we're going to whisk this together or you can use a spoon and stir it until it is completely combined. I want to remind you that you can get the full recipe in the link in the description or just go to eatingonadime.com. And now we're going to take this mixture and pour it directly over our ribs. Cover it and cook on low for eight to 10 hours. Then once it's finished, we are going to take a baking dish and line it with foil just so the cleanup is super easy. And we're going to remove these country style ribs and place them directly onto the baking sheet. They're going to be tender friends and they are going to fall apart and that is okay because we want super tender ribs. Now you can eat them as is right now, but if you do this extra step to broil them, you will have the best tasting ribs you've ever made. They will be crispy and caramelized on the outside, but fork tender to eat. They're perfect and amazing. So we're gonna head to the oven and broil these ribs for about five to 10 minutes or until they begin to brown and the sauce caramelizes on top. This recipe is super easy to make for a regular weeknight, but also fancy enough for when you have friends over or a family barbecue. They're fork tender and delicious. You've got to try this recipe, friends. They are so tender, the meat is literally falling off the bone. No wonder this recipe is so popular on our website. I love cooking ribs in the crock pot because it's easy and they come out perfect every single time. Don't forget, the link for the full recipe is in the description below.